Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. Still recording the same day. I'm kind of losing my voice, but you got to struggle through because this is when I have the time. All right. We've got a very keepable hand. Let's do it. Get our mana set up here. They're doing a ponder. We're playing some blue. If it's mono blue, it's going to be a bit rough for us, especially since we're on the draw here. And we're putting down a tapped land. So tapped, we're going to call this Thriving Grove. Yes, we're going to call red. We're going to go. Set up to drop a Sidewinder and a Viverlint next turn. Same start I had just a second ago when I was up against Artifacts. And they left and sent me to the play lobby, unfortunately. All right. Let's go ahead and put out our guys. I would love to draw one more land so we can play like a Sentinel and one of our other one drops. That'd be ideal here. Why? Yo, there we go. Okay. All right. Whew. For a second there. <laughs> For a second there, I thought I like skipped through my turn all the way, which I did a little bit, but all right, they're brainstorming. That's fine with me. Evolving Wilds for what, though, is the question. Oh, it's Scred. Classic Scred. All right. And they're probably going to pass. Okay. Hmm. Not a land, which is unfortunate. So I think I'm just going to try to play a Sentinel. If they want to counter it, fine. They're not going to. In we go with the Vigilance Poisonous Flanking team. Let's see if they scred anything here. They are going to scred our flanker. All right. Does that mean they have nothing else? All right, that's fine. We got another flanker. Frantic inventory. All right. Getting the card draw going. Preordain. Let's see if they play another island here. If not, we're clear to like play our lord. Doesn't mean that they can't go for the removal, but that's nice. Let's see. At this point, I think trying to just... Let's see here. Kind of want to just go plated, plated. Hmm. Definitely go one plated. Spells, stutter, sprites. Okay, that's fine. Well, that's fine. We'll get down our lord then. And then we gotta watch out for more of those in the future. But we're getting in for five and two poisonous, so not too bad so far. Developing the board decently. They do have six cards though on this draw. That's a bit concerning. Evolving Wilds, Cry could get another mountain. Probably. They are just going to hold up everything. Hold up. Another Sentinel. Don't really need that. Let's try to just go Sidewinder. See if they want to do a counter here. Bait it and then try to get out of Plated. like they are going to do it with the counter spell and yeah let's just go plated they might kill our lord here a 
Do you have the removal for our lord? I do. With the scred. But we're still getting in. They'll crack this evolving. Got him to five poisonous. Another mountain. Yep. Four cards. Getting on the attack. Interesting. Do they have a ninja? Yep. I got a ninja. That's fine. It's not great, but, you know, we do have a sentinel, so we can start blocking that thing in the future. Alright, let's go ahead and get a winding way going. Since they're tapped out of blue, this is an opportune moment. That's pretty good. Definitely want to throw that down. Got to pre-kill something here. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and attack for three. Still have the vigilance. Probably kill our sentinel now. Scrite it up. It's not going to matter here. Alright, we need some more power. We're starting to become in control of the game. It's not great. Augur is a good, good little blocker for this board. Another frantic inventory. Probably going to play it now. We'll get two cards off of this. Fire! Oh, shoot. Okay. That's, uh, that's a rough one. That is a rough one. In goes the ninja. Grabbing a card. Another evolving. That's not what you want to see, really. I think I'm going to hold this in my hand for a turn. Just so they're not aware that we have no more creatures. This is looking rough. Frantic inventory. I'm going to trade. Don't want them to have any more card draw if I can help it. And we pass. If they kill Gemhide end a turn, I think they tapped wrong for that. Probably should have just tapped double blue and held up a red so they could do removal. Guess it doesn't matter too much. There's a fairy. They get to scry set up. I mean, if we just pull into another land next turn, I'll concede we'll go to game two. Because once they get so far ahead of us on card advantage, there's just no point. Other ninja. As expected. Another fairy. This is not good. We 
get a virulence. Let's see if they counter it. Okay. On to the next game. Pyroblast is in. Prismatic. What else do we want? Reach. Take out a Sentinel. Swift response for their ninjas might be good. Uh, I kind of want Hunter. I don't think striking's as relevant. I think we can deal with taking him out. Cut a winding. We need to cut four cards. Uh, maybe we're overloading a bit. I'll drop one Swift response. I guess Sentinel isn't really required. Need to cut two more things. Yeah. I like Hunter in these matchups. Thirty one creatures. Um predatory. Maybe I just don't play with swift response. Maybe I just go one and one with the prismatic strands. Maybe we dump our heart sliver. Mm, no, because one. <sighs> I'm just thinking of all the lines that that can be so good against them, where they're just tapped out and we go off with a heart sliver. Um, mm, I guess we'll cut one lead the stampede. I don't know if that's correct, but let's try it and see. Yes, let me play first. That is not what I want to see. That's better. I think I'm just going to get rid of Thriving Grove. Go with what we have. Start getting that double poisonous going ASAP. Go ahead. That's a good start. It's going to take him a minute. Excellent. They need to handle our Viverlance ASAP, so I'd be very surprised if they don't grab a mountain here. If they don't... And maybe they already have one in hand, but they do, yep, because they need to deal with them. What are you thinking? Augur. So just a blocker? I'm fine with that. Gonna get in for four poisonous and buff up our guy's electricery. Mmm. Okay, we need to watch out for electricery. Mm -hmm. Well, we're kind of just forced to play this so we don't get blown out by it. We still very much could. They go into another mountain here. They could, you know, scrat our lightning bolt, our muscle, and then electricery, and that would be not fun. And if they're not blocking, that tells me... Things are going wrong very fast. I'm surprised they wouldn't just block, though. He's not going to die. That's um easy block. Oh, no, he would die. My bad. I forgot about the flanker. And, okay. They can't handle it, so... Yep, good. Double poisonous coming in clutch again. Do I want anything else? Not really. Maybe a prismatic. Maybe we just don't do the swift response. Maybe that's just not the play. 
think protection might be better than just trying to kill their one-off card draw creature because that's all that's the only thing I'm gonna be targeting really Um, I will keep. We just need to find a way to get Pyroblast online, but other than that, the hand is decent. Ponder away. Let's see what they do with it. Show me the game log. They chose to shuffle. Okay. So they didn't like what they saw, and they chose to shuffle. More lords is fine. I will take it. We just gotta get them out fast. They are gonna start holding up Counterspell. We will make the play for a Viverlint to get countered and then put down like a Sinew. Next turn, we're just going to pass. They could do a frantic uh, inventory here. But no go. Staying on their turn. Going to tap out for an Augur, so that's good. So now we can just get both these down, no problem. They get a Scred, though. Another sinew. Okay. No point in attacking in. We do not have flanking this time. Scred is up, so we may see that get dropped on our sinew next turn. Or this turn. You gonna do it right away? They are. Alright. I need a land so I can get another Lord down for sure. Nice. Alright, excellent. Um <laughs> I would love a gem hide here, you know, and we could just power out everything and it'd be awesome. All right, I could have attacked him. My bad. Pudge. Could have hit for two. Ah, uh, they put two cards on top of their library. That's lovely. One of them's a preordain. Want to see what they do with this one. And they put two cards on top. Alright. That's nice. Let's try to get it down and then slam a lord. Let's not forget to attack in this turn. Spell Stutter. Fair enough. Get in there, boys. No more missed attacks. Let's go. They're taking it? Okay, they're taking it. And we're beating their Scred currently, which is nice. We got three fours. And max next turn, they can have a third snow-covered land. So that's very nice. Obviously, we're beating the lightning strike, or lightning bolt. So good position. Good position right now. Just keep slamming in, make them force blocks, get rid of spell stutter sprites, so we can set up to not have them counter anything bigger than a one-drop. Frantic inventory. And they left. Awesome. Sweet, we did it. And we are getting a lead the stampede 
into a winding way. Uh, I don't know if I would have went for the lead of the stampede. I would have liked to see where they tap next turn. Uh, now we could have gotten away with it just from where they're tapped now. We could have led the stampede and gotten pretty much nothing. <laughs> well, that's what the play would have been. We would have lead, lead, led the stampede and we would have drawn a Viverlin. <laughs> and that's it. And lost two winding ways in a prismatic, which would not have been fun. Uh, but yeah, hey, we got it. So cool. Up against Scred, we got the victory. Leave a like if you enjoyed that one. Make sure to subscribe for more Nia Slivers coming up next week as well. And stay tuned and we will see you guys in the next video.